Hi, I'm Sean, I'm Helpful Mum, and I'm here to give you my top 10 tips for potty training. This might not work for all of you, it's worked for me with two different children, so give it a go, it might work. Number one, prepare. Make sure you have potty around the house, make sure your child is used to seeing a potty, seeing a toilet seat, just seeing all that stuff around. Then it won't be such a such an alien concept then when it comes around to it. I recommend, if you have a boy, a potty with a, a high front because it makes sure that everything stays in, there's no escapage. Um, this one's quite good, it's got a high back but we've got this in France for about three euros so not sure you'll find it here. Very useful potty though. Also recommend having a travel potty, something like this which comes in a few different parts um, and you simply put the bag inside that part of the potty and the child weaves sitting on a bag there's a little waterproof thing in, water absorbent thing inside to soak up any number two practice I recommend that you try potty training for a week make sure your child has is able to not wear anything on the bottom if possible because they're going to wee everywhere. It, that's that's what happens. You know, there's no two ways about it. It's it's odd for them. They've worn nappies all their life, so why wouldn't it be strange? Make sure they they're able to kind of wander around and just wee everywhere. Expect to clear up a lot of wee. Number three, pause. Now I think this part is really important. With both of my children, we paused after the first week. The first week was horrible. I'll make, you know, it was horrible. So we paused with both of them. When my son would pause for two weeks and when my daughter would pause for one week. And that time seemed to give them the time to process the information. It got them used to that idea so that when we came back to it in two weeks or one week's time, they understood that part, so they knew what was coming and they sort of processed it and learned about it and I think that made a big difference to them. Number four, proceed. You're ready to go. Your child should understand from when you first started what's going on now. It should be a bit easier. I recommend using a pull-up waterproof pant such as these. This is um, a bright box pant. It's got a waterproof layer inside, you can hear the crinkle. So all it does is, it means the clothes the ch clothes don't get wet when they wee, but they feel wet, so they don't quite like that, so they're not that likely to do it. And it also just gives them that sensation, so they, it, it helps them to understand that that's what's happening. And it keeps their clothes dry so you can put them back on again afterwards. Useful. Um, I'm not sure about pull-up nappies. Um, I never used them. I can't see why they would be... All that useful really because they they're just keeping the wetness away from them so it's it's kind of the same as nappy anyway that's my opinion number five prompt your child will need prompting loads to start with they don't understand the feeling of needing to go for a wee so every half hour 45 minutes whatever feels natural to you prompt them say do you need the toilet if they say no, say maybe we should just sit on the toilet and see what they do. Um, it's really useful just to get them kind of used to that feeling of needing to go to a wee. You can lengthen the intervals between sitting on the potty as you get more successful. Number six, praise. Praise is the most important part. Your child wants to feel that they're doing something well, so praise. You know, tell them that you're proud of them, you can praise with stickers, with sweets, with stars, whatever you feel comfortable with. With my son we used stickers, um, with my daughter we've just used praise, just told her how proud we are of her and she's so, she's so proud of herself and you can see that and it's really helping to work. Patience, number seven. It's not going to happen very quickly <laughs> necessarily. Be patient with them. Don't grumble at them if they make if they have an accident. That's they don't know. They're very small generally. You know, it's it's all new to them. Don't don't put them down at any point. It's not. It might not happen in a week. It might not happen in two weeks. But it will happen. So you will get there. Okay. Number eight. Practical. 
make sure your child is wearing practical clothing. Once they start to understand when they need to go to the toilet, they'll want to take themselves off because it's a bit of independence for them. Make sure they've got some clothes on that are easy to pull down and they can go and do that and feel like they've accomplished something. Number nine, persevere. It will happen. As I said before, it might not happen overnight, it might not happen over a week or two weeks. Both of mine took two weeks, which was brilliant. Um, but it will happen and they will be dry and they will have achieved something pretty massive for them. So just persevere, you'll get there. Number 10, party. You have reached the end of an era with your child. It's um, a huge step forwards for them. You've saved yourself some money, now you're no longer buying nappies, so maybe you could treat yourself to a glass or two of wine, or sparkling grape juice if you don't drink wine. So that's those are my top 10 tips. I also recommend, um, we have this, which looks quite a monstrosity. It is a seat for the toilet, and it has a step on it. So it's a really, really useful potty training thing because even my son still uses this and he's coming up to five and it's just easy for him to get onto the toilet with it. With the step up, handles, you can adjust the height of the step and I really recommend something like that. Um, I wasn't sure about it to start with but actually it's been one of the best things we've ever had for potty training. So those are my top tips. Alright, bye.